the bad news chancellor? Since coming to office, Jeremy Hunt hasn't had much of a positive story to tell. It's very difficult to see having that kind of tax cut this year. Anyone who says there are easy answers is not being straight with the British people. Compare and contrast to now. Days from the autumn statement, with Tory MPs keen to hear about tax cuts. Everything is on the table. I want to bring down our tax burden. Uh, I think it's important for a, a productive, dynamic, fizzing economy right. that uh, you motivate people to okay. do the work, take the risks that we need. Market Day in Jeremy Hunt's Surrey constituency. Look to the past, and areas like this have always been Conservative. But with the Lib Dems looming large at the next election, could tax cuts tempt voters back? For me, I'm at an age where, funnily enough, um, it's inheritance tax is the big issue for me. 13 years or more that the Tories have been in charge and nothing's, nothing's really changed. If anything, it's got worse. I'm all for a cut in inheritance tax, but I do feel like the timing is, uh, you know, there's so many other problems that need to be addressed. So what could the Chancellor do? This senior economist says he has little room to manoeuvre and high taxes could be here to stay. He and his predecessors have put up tax more over this parliament than has happened over any parliament in history. And that's because they've had no choice, really, because the public finances are in such a mess. We're spending so much on debt interest. We're actually spending more on other things. The economy is doing dreadfully badly. The population is ageing. All of those things are, push, are pushed in one direction. A wide range of autumn statement rumours have been blowing around Westminster for weeks now. The view of what's to come hardly clear. After setting growth as a priority, some sort of adjustment to business investment seems likely. But on the punter-friendly personal taxes, it's less certain. There's been weeks of briefing about a possible cut to inheritance tax, but that would do little to the economy and it would be massively beneficial for the wealthy. Targeting income tax or national insurance would go down well with backbenchers, but it would also cost a lot and it would risk fueling inflation. The economy is lost. Unveiling tax cuts also puts pressure on Labour to say if they would follow suit, the Shadow Chancellor striking a cautious note. Well, a couple of years ago, Rishi Sunak was trying to increase national insurance. We opposed that and said that we wanted working people to have more of their own money in their pockets. I've also always said, though, that it's important to say where the money's going to come from. With businesses, families, almost everyone still feeling high prices, there'll be no straightforward giveaways. But come Wednesday, there may be a few more reasons to be cheerful. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.